Hi, this is Wayne Tully, and today I thought about drawing a demon dog. Now, this is going to be a large video on drawing a demon dog. I just want to get the shape right, um, sort of like I did with the, the hellhound drawing that I did. And I may not get it right first time, but it's best to have a go. I haven't got a particular um, dog in mind to make it make the hellhound drawing more like that, but just have a go. too big but we can always refine that later on through there. Let's sort this leg out a bit far too long. background I'm not so sure it looks right but you can always work through um, ideas and see if it'll work I think it's best if I just carry on the three claws on each leg As you're going along you're sort of like restructuring the the arms and the legs and you know just to see if they'll you know you want it to look right but you also want to get the idea down on paper there and you know it's uh let me do some
give it like a color if you want it to. Maybe with a, a chain which we'll draw in later. Just broken on the ground maybe. rib cage now do it so slightly neater because I'm not really following proper dogs anatomy but if you can uh, sort of wing it slightly you can sort of get away with it Drawing the, the rough shape, I'm not entirely happy with the legs, um, but we can still try and you know whack through the the shape of them. and some form maybe on the legs
Again, try and add some more muscle to wherever you can to see if it can try and help the drawing somewhat. teeth on the tail just for fun so the legs look slightly better I'm still not sure about this one um, but I think we'll just just leave it as is concept sketch anyway so when we get to the inking stage we'll try and straighten it out but even if we can't straighten it out we can always redraw you know the drawing you know maybe overlay it on like a light box or something and try and draw some leg variations just to straighten it out I think what I've done is uh, there should be a sort of bone there like pelvic bone and I've done it too low so it doesn't matter well, I like the the uh, small type of uh, dog you know um, almost like a, a Rottweiler or something um, yeah nearly <laughs> Just about, uh, or a, or a, what what they call them dogs? A Staffy, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. They're short and stumpy type dogs, so I don't know. It's not really drawn after any particular type of dog, but it's just the way I've drawn it. Just the way it turned out. Next time I might do a different type of dog. yeah like this so we'll start to maybe ink this in a moment I think I've tinkered too long with this maybe just add some more shade in there or oh, more in this bit because it's, it's behind the other part so it should be in shadow maybe some Shadow here. Yep, so we'll start to ink this now. Uh, I'll just show you the drawing there. It's not bad pencil sketch for a demon dog. So let's ink this. So I've got a Unipin fan liner pen here. I'm just going to start to ink this. Quite quick. I haven't done like even teeth. I think it's best just to do uneven things. You know, teeth. And like even the spans on the back, I think I'm going to change slightly, but we'll see as the drawing progresses.
just see how we can sort of layer the teeth in there so we've done them all uneven which sort of works so more shape to that nose there and just leave it as that for now more extra lines so the key here is trying to improve the drawing whatever way you can Quite often at the inking stage that'll be trying to add more shading, more shadow areas. more of like suggestion of hair but we don't want to be over the top with hair because this isn't really a hairy dog so it's slightly hairy but not too hairy not like most dogs are so As I said, these spines I wanted maybe like an uneven type look to them, some longer than others. Just, so, just to add something to it. I mean, once you add the uh, inclines, you can't really go back unless you redraw the drawing. So I'd say the back of this dog is the hairiest. And that's about it. And I'll draw these spikes on here. Um, I'm aware that I went slightly wrong drawing these spikes. So I'm going to try and change that. Try to change it as best as I can. Draw this color. I haven't forgotten about that chain, which will be going down there, but I'll do that last. I'm going to draw all the other elements in first.
so we're really loosely following like our pencil guidelines but trying to add some more um, sort of like form to the creature the dog design details you can add later on we're just on about the, the form here the legs and everything I was worried about in the early part of this video of the way the legs look but I'm just gonna leave that I mean I could if I wanted to straighten that out and you know sort of stuff out like that on computer or anything like that but since this is just a concept drawing you're gonna make them mistakes it's it's only natural I mean unless you know dogs uh, anatomy you know inside and out type thing it's it's best just to wing it for the first time the first attempt I mean, I know I've drawn uh, like a hellhound but even that one perf you know it wasn't really perfect so and as an artist you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna try and learn from them and you know just come up with designs that you actually like and I like this better when I, you know once I've started to wink it I can see it coming together more scribbly sort of look in there so we can draw some tiny hair textures just to suggest and then the hairs just taper off up there they don't really it's almost like a bald looking tail <laughs> type ribs but it helps make it look slightly demonic and sort of out of place so I think that's why I did it so let me try and change this texture so it looks different more like ribs should Exposed ribs. Gonna be a slight shadowing, a thicker line in between, just to help separate it slightly. 
Not too much though. legs. Best way to do it is just sort of crack on with it. Suggestion of hairs. Then maybe I uh, wanted to draw this and now I've drawn over it, so what I need, maybe that could come from the back. Yeah, I'd probably have to work it that way. Go for these like even looking sausage shapes for the chain. I always leave a gap so we can link that up with other parts of the chain roughly the same size <laughs> together like chain links because that's what they are the trick is to try and make them roughly the same size um, I'm sort of rushing it a bit but you can like you know already take your time Becoming a bit shaky because my arm's aching. Bodged it, no mind. Let's wing it. Maybe do a few cracks in that, like it's, it's breaking anyway because that's near the end. Yeah, saved it, sort of. <laughs> and that's broken anyway. A bit of chain there cracks all that jazz so there's the inking of this demon dog yeah uh, oh my hand hurts <laughs> uh, maybe just do some small details like a bit of shading on you know these claws which 
Which I almost forgot. What might be a good idea, um, if you've got time and you've got like a, a white pen, you could go over some certain areas and maybe add something more to the drawing, some extra depth. In fact, while I'm here now, I'll try and see what I can do. I've got a, a Jelly Roll Secure Ink Pen. Uh, you can maybe just draw some just highlights on the nose, you know, shiny bits there. Just small details. The, you know, lands and here and there. I don't want to go overboard actually because it sort of looks okay as it is. It's going to be a massive file size, so what I might do is maybe do the colouring at a later stage. So, yeah, this is How to Draw a Demon Dog. I hope that's given you some like inspiration and things like that. Um, you know, an idea maybe how to draw something or, you know, I'm not too keen on uh, the structure of a, a, a proper how to draw video where you start from, I don't know, like maybe a triangle head and then you just add all these other shapes to it and stuff. I'd rather draw something as is on paper and you know, hopefully you gain something from it. Uh, of course, I'm not a professional artist or out like that. Um, because if I was professional, I would have drawn these teeth. I would have inked them over. And <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm not professional, but I hope to be one day. As I slowly improve. So yeah, that's the demon dog drawing. I hope you like that, um, because I like drawing it. Cheers now.